I'm John Dudley from Knock On TV, Hoyt Pro Staffer, and a dedicated diehard bow hunter. This week we're going to bust out one of my workouts. Uh, I guess a few things quick. First off, you know, for my workouts, I really do change them up quite often. I keep my body guessing. Uh, sometimes I focus more on weights, sometimes more on cardio, sometimes higher reps, lower reps. But this particular time of year, uh, I've got a lot going on. It's turkey season, editing season, writing season. So I'm really busy right now. So what I focus on is full body workouts. Uh, we're going to go through a full body workout. It's going to literally, I can get this whole thing knocked out in about 40 to 45 minutes in and out okay shut your cell phones off leave them in the car come in focus on your workout get it done so first thing we're going to do we're going to start out on chest we're going to move into back then we're going to go into doing some core then we're going to go into doing uh, legs and then we're going to come back and hit our guns to finish so uh, that's pretty much going to be the workout a few things quick um, i've had some great strength coaches um, definitely my favorite is uh, former Mr. Olympia Frank Zane taught me some very important fundamentals when it comes to lifting weights and that's you know try to make lower weight feel as high as possible so I really focus on the negative okay we're archers um, for those of you target archers that really want to focus on back tension and very controlled specific muscle groups you really have to to build that connection between your mind and your muscle so that negative rep, a slow negative, really focuses on that. And I've tried powerlifting, I've tried a lot of different things, but for my particular body, I really get the best results out of really focus on negatives. So I'm gonna focus on a two count or a three count on my negative stroke, and then I'm gonna have literally twice as fast, a so one count on the positive. As soon as I'm done with an exercise, we're gonna go right into a stretch for that muscle group going to really promote getting fresh blood into that muscle group and you're going to have a better pump uh, and also helps with recovery time. So that's really the fundamentals to mine. So uh, let's get started. We're going to knock out, you know, anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. Again, focus on the negatives, stretch. So here we go. Again, going right into a stretch. Got a good set, good pump. Gonna go into about a 20 second stretch. This muscle group. Normally I'd hit that for about three sets, okay? So now, after you hit three sets there, let's roll into some back. Okay, so we got three sets of flat chest. We're gonna roll into a straight pull down. Uh, and really important, make sure you keep your body directly under this bar. Uh, for back, this is a really, really focused movement and uh, something that's super important for archers. So keep yourself directly under that. I want you to come straight down to your chest and then skim this bar right over your head. And as soon as your arms get parallel, that's where you're going to stop. You're going to keep that tension on your lats. Again, good negatives. Notice I'm bringing my body forward. myself under that bar. A 
we roll right into a stretch. Hook this thing on, stretch this sucker out. I'm pulling with my feet out a big breath. All right, we got three sets of this. We're gonna go right into chest again, upper chest. We're gonna go into an incline bench. All right, we, uh, we're in our second set on chest now, second set of three. It's gonna be incline. Press is gonna hit the top of the chest. Same thing, good negatives, good form. Uh, and that's pretty much it, let's do it. All right, now we got a narrow grip. We're gonna focus on a little bit different area of our back. So we did the wide, now we're going narrow. Squeeze, slow negative, come forward. Once you do this, and you keep your body under that cable, you're gonna see a big freaking difference. This just rocks my freaking back. Right into a stretch. Okay, so we've already hit two, two movements on chest. This is now two movements on our back. Okay, so now that we got this, we're gonna go do a superset with two things. We're gonna superset our calves and our core. All right, let's get set up. All right, so now we're gonna go into a superset of core and calves, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna superset my core with pretty much one to failure of several different exercises. Uh, hanging knee ups, uh, crunches, I call them pointers, so just follow along, you'll, uh, you'll figure it out. All right, now what's super cool about this workout and having a full body routine, but doing it every other day is as an archer, or as a, especially the competitive archers, this gives you time to recuperate and also time to practice the following days. Um, you know, I really am a firm believer in not overtraining. And you can overtrain both in fitness and in the sports that you're in. So I can't, you know, mentally, I can't practice really hard and with solid focus day in and day out. So what I really like to do is have days where you have a real tough workout and then follow that with a day where you're able to have a really tough practice session. You really get out there, shoot your high volumes, arrows, practice. That, that way the next time you go in the gym, you've had a break, you're really focused, you go in there, you can do the same type of, you know, the same type of weight that you were doing before, you're not burning yourself out, you got plenty of time to relax. The other thing is, 
make sure you change up those movements because you really want to focus on not doing the same thing day in and day out. Now for this particular one we did flat bench first, then we went into a wide grip, then we went into an incline. Well maybe the next time when you go in there, change it up. Do that incline first, then the, the flat bench would be after. You know, Maybe do your narrow grip pull downs first. Um, again, when we talked about guns, we were talking about you know, sometimes cables, sometimes straight bars, sometimes dumbbells. Don't do the same thing and I guarantee you're going to see a lot better results from it. Now during my cable crunches, I really like to focus on real hard contractions, squeeze your stomach really tight, and uh, you know, what I like to do on a cable crunch is I actually like to try to vary the speed, you know, go almost to failure on a certain one. Um, like right here, I'm getting kind of a full length crunch. And then uh, after I've got a really good burn like that, I'll speed up the pace a little bit, um, which actually kind of takes a little bit more pressure off there. And uh, I'll speed up the pace, make it a little bit quicker, make it a little bit tighter. And then after that, as soon as I start to burn out that way, I'll go more into a long uh, which you know will stretch it out a lot more so I'll, I'll really extend my torso up to kind of finish off which will give me a deep stretch underneath so uh, that's what I do on my cable crunches just so that there's a variance and I get a really really good deep impact Now once you get burned out, you're, you're definitely going to start having a little bit more trouble on those negatives, especially when you're super setting like this. You know, this is my last set. So what I really focus on now is deep contractions, I'm focused on a real good squeeze at the top. I'm trying my best to, to go with the negative, but you know, there just comes a point where you can't, you can't get a real slow negative, so just really focus on that squeeze and focus on the muscle group that you're working on. Stretch your calves, stretch your calves. Okay, now for our last set on the core, we're gonna do a modified plank. I call them pointers, uh, because when we did the knee ups, we really hit you know, our mid to lower ab, then when we did the crunches, we hit our middle ab, um, and then now when we do what I call these pointers, we're really gonna hit hard your mid to upper ab. I mean, it's gonna burn. Uh, so pretty much what I do is I go from, you know, an up position on the plank and I just focus on dang near point my toes right through the ceiling. Um, I'll go until I'm getting a really good burn going and then I'll start alternating with about a half twist and it really brings in your obliques to finish. So these are uh, the Dudley pointers I call them. This is a good way to stretch. You'll need it. It's hurt. Running about. 25 minutes. 
right now. So we're doing really good on time. Last stretch. Now when it comes to legs, especially on extensions, whether it's, you know, right here I'm doing quad extensions, um, next I'll be doing some hamstring curls, but anytime you're on these machines, it's really important that you focus on putting the pivot point of that, that machine right directly in line with your knee. Um, if it's not in line with your knee, then you're going to end up forcing yourself into a, an unnatural movement and you're going to end up tearing something. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a former athlete, I'm a big guy, um, I'm a tall guy, so a lot of times movements like this can sometimes be really difficult on my joints when I use machines. So just, you know, even whether it's legs or even the arm machines where you're doing bicep curls or tricep extensions on these machines, make sure the pivot point of that machine is always directly in line with your, with your joint that you're using. Um, you know, I really like quad, quad extensions because you can squeeze and really hammer the front of your quads with those. Um, then once I switch into hamstring curls like this right here, it's the same thing. You can tell right there, you can see that the pivot point of that machine is right in line with my knee. And I just really focus on the squeeze. Um, you can see I've got a slow negative coming up, just having a lot of tension on there. Um, like I said, my, my workouts constantly vary. Um, at this particular time, since I'm doing a lot of sprints, I do the machine workout on my legs. If it's the winter time where I'm not doing as much sprinting and I'm not outside as much, I'll do you know a lot of like walking lunges or squats so that I hit my legs and really burn them out a little bit more. But this is a good workout and uh, it doesn't totally fatigue me for my sprints the next day. I'm gonna knock out three sets, three sets of these. And then once you knock out your three sets, you're gonna go right into another circuit. We're gonna go buys, shoulders, tries in that order. So let's go do that. Gun show. That's my favorite part. All right, when it comes to arms, I change this up a lot. I mean, there's um, hundreds of arm workouts, biceps, triceps. So I literally change this. I'll do a different movement every time I hit my guns. So sometimes it might be dumbbells, sometimes straight bars. Um, actually today I'm going to just go ahead and do some cables on both sides. So we're going to do cables on the buys and go right into military press for the shoulders. And then I'm going to change up and go straight to a tricep push down. Same thing on triceps. Vary your routine. Sometimes with the rope, sometimes with the straight bar, sometimes with the machine. Keep changing it. But uh, the reason I do my shoulders in the middle is because it kind of burns out my triceps a little bit. I get a way better pump on my tries if they're a little bit burned out before I do my focus set. So here we go. No. Really trying to turn your pinkies to where they touch each other. Squeeze the buys. Really. Focus on the box. Keep your elbows tight. I'm 
from doing those fives, keep your elbows tight to your torso. You know, don't let your elbows get too far back. Don't let your elbows get too far forward. Try to keep everything locked so you're just focusing on the bicep, okay? So now we're gonna go into a military press. You know, don't go too far down. Keep the tension on the shoulders. Okay, so here we go. By now, you'll really be getting burned out. best you can. And then fold your hand back here. Pull that over. Nice. That is a knockout, knock on workout. Pretty much just to hit it on and all again. Flat bench, wide grip pull downs, incline bench, close grip pull downs. Then we went right into our core with calves, supersetted. We went right into quads and hams, supersetted. We go right into our arms. Biceps, shoulders, triceps. If you do that, that is a great workout. Now tomorrow, I'll hit the track, probably run a mile or two at a slow pace, then do some interval sprints. Right now I'm actually doing 200 yard sprints with a 200 yard walk, and I do that for one mile after I've run a mile. So that's pretty much the routine. Hopefully you guys, uh, put it to good use. Thanks for stopping by.